Exercise 6.2, question number 4. The cost of 4 kilo mangoes is 300 rupees. Find the cost of 10 kilogram mangoes. Let the solve it by proportion method. Now suppose cost of 10 kg mangoes x. Now here two quantities are in proportion. Cost and the other mango in kg. And other is mangoes in kg. 300 rupees is the cost of kilogram mango then what will be the cost of 10 kilogram mangoes it's supposed to be x and we have to find the value of x mango values increase from 4 kg to 10 kg it means direction of arrow will go down from 4 to 10 if mangoes increase in quantities then cost will also be increased means value of x will be greater than 300 so here direction of arrow will also go down from 300 to x this is the direct proportional relationship between two quantities now we will write the value according to the directed arrows first we write 300 then we write x equal to 4 ratio 10 and we know that product of mean is equal to product of extremes this is a mean value we will write x into 4 equal to this is a product of extremes here we will write 300 into 10 now solve this and get the value of x So the cost of 10 kg mangoes is 750 rupees. Now same problem we will solve by unitary method. The cost of 4 kg mangoes is 300 rupees. Then what will be the cost of 1 kg mangoes? If we divide if we divide 300 by 4, we will get the value of 1 kg mango at 75. Now, to know the cost of 10 kg mangoes, we just multiply 75 with 10 kg because 1 kg mangoes is 75 rupees, then 10 kg mangoes will be 750 rupees. So, the cost of 10 kg mangoes is 750 rupees. Exercise 6.2, question number 5. By proportion method, we will solve it. Now, suppose a student read x pages in 10 days. Here, ratio is in between pages and days. A student read 30 pages in 4 days. In 10 days, how many pages he will read? This is the question. Suppose x pages. He read. Now we have to find the value of this x. So this goes from 4 to 10. So direction of arrow will be from 4 to 10 similarly. More days, more pages. He will read. So value of x will be also greater than 30. So direction of arrow will be goes from 30 to x. So here days and pages are increasing means both increasing so this is a directly proportion now we start writing value as per arrow direction as we know that product of means is equal to the product of extremes here x and 4 is the product of means we write it here equal to 30 and 10 is the product of extreme we will write it here now solve this equation and get the value of x. So a student will read 75 pages in 10 days. Now same problem we will solve by unitary method. See in 4 days a student read 30 pages. So in 1 day a student will read 15 and a half pages. Now to find pages read in 10 days, multiply 10 days with 15 and a half pages he read. 
then we will get 75 pages the student will read 10 days 20 soldiers can consume a food stock in 8 days how many soldiers will consume the same food stock in 5 days now solve it by proportion method let the x soldiers consume food stock in 5 days first we will write here soldiers and days 20 soldiers consume food in 8 days so in 5 days how many soldiers consume the same food stock that's supposed to be x and here days are decreasing first 8 now 5 so we gives direction of arrows from 5 to 8 so it's understood when soldiers increase food stock decrease so here value of x definitely greater than 20 so our direction will be from 20 to x because when you increase people food stock decrease now according to the arrow we will write this we know that product of means is equal to the product of extremes here x and 5 is the product of means equal to the product of extreme 20 and 8 is the product of extremes now solve this and get the value of x So 32 soldiers will consume the food in stock, food stock in 5 days. Now the same problem we will solve by the unitary method. So this is very easy, you will do it by yourself. Exercise number 6.2, question number 7 says that if 4 worker completes a job in 8 hours, find the time in hours to complete the same job by 6 workers. Now by proportion method, we will solve it. Let the workers complete job in X hours. We will write here workers and hours. So 4 workers complete job in 8 hours. Now we increase the worker. They are 6. Now so in how many hours these six workers will complete the job so we suppose these hours are x here workers are increased from 4 to 6 so direction of arrow from 4 to 6 more workers complete job in lesser time so value of x will be less than 8 so direction of arrow will be from x to 8 because value will be increased from x to 8 now according to the arrow we have this now we know that product of means is equal to product of extremes here 6 and x is the product of mean equal to product of extreme 4 and 8 is the product of extreme and we write it now solve this and get the value of x. So 6 workers complete job in these hours. Now we will solve this problem by unitary method. 4 workers complete job in 8 hours. So 1 worker will complete job in 8 into 4 because one worker takes more time than many workers so six workers complete job in we will divide one worker job by six workers because more workers take less time to complete the job so six worker will complete job in five hours approximately Similarly, solve all other remaining problems by yourself and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and like my video. 
you are one like encourage me to solve more exercise in short time and share my video link on your facebook timelines or in your whatsapp group thanks